See Hildren of the Light, your hearts are reaching out so earnestly for your freedom. Your loyalty to America is being proved so wonderfully in your mighty decrees, which are being issued for that freedom. May I take just a little of Saint Germain's glory today? I belong to America too. Therefore, dear ones, I join with you and say that I have been working in the past for the freedom of your beloved America. It shall come, beloved ones. The light is always more powerful than the shadow. When you move in the sunlight and see your shadow following, you are not frightened at it, are you? When you are in an airplane and you pass through the clouds, often there is around the shadow of your plane a complete rainbow. Have you ever seen that? It is wonderful. It is marvelous. Do you know what it means? It means the radiance of the light is always the governing power of the shadow. The shadow sometimes follows for a time and then disappears. So it is, beloved ones, with human creation. Mankind in the lack of understanding have to sum. 274. Degree welcomed it, not knowing how to get rid of it. The truth is, individuals to a large degree were actually welcoming their own creation, therefore giving it power through the appearance world. Now they have begun to understand that such things are not necessary and such appearances must all be changed. In the understanding of the presence, whose power produces all change and brings in all perfection, the whole current of energy released by mankind is being reversed. Sometimes when you hear the messengers use the powerful statement, Mighty I am presence, turn it upside down and bring an ascended master miracle of your perfection out of it, it means that the condition is being reversed. Out of the lack of understanding comes the true understanding of the presence. This understanding is the powerhouse by which all humanity is transformed. May I remind you again today, that in calling your presence into action to produce harmony and perfection in your world and America, dear ones, there is no struggle. There is no battle. There is no war feeling in it. It is the call to the light. The release goes forth, and the light, knowing no resistance nor interference, just moves in, dissolving everything unlike itself. Keep reminding your outer intellect, which naturally charges your feeling world, that in the change which comes there need be no battle. In the great calm serenity and issuing of these decrees into the mental and feeling world of mankind, the light, which is self-luminous, intelligent substance, proceeds into action with the infinite power of the universe to produce this result which you desire so much, and which is so imperative for America. And which is so imperative for America? The achievement of the past three months is so very remarkable. We touch upon it occasionally to give you the courage and strength to realize how great it is. Words could not describe the achievement of the past three months, but I trust you will realize it in your feeling. As you enter this marvelous shrine class, you will feel a release of power that you have never touched in your life. Even the beloved students who have been in touch with the work from the beginning, will find an amazing release of joy and strength within them. I say to you, beloved ones, and I plead with you, do not give power to the gossip that goes about. Unhappy, unfortunate individuals sometimes start those things, but I ask you everywhere, do not give power to them. You cannot prevent human beings talking, but you can prevent gossip anchoring within your world. If you revolve it in thought or conversation, you are sure to anchor it within your feeling world. Say to all those stories that are brought to your attention, is it not unfortunate that there are a few who listen to such things? Please do not do it, for your own sake. Dear hearts, if you hear such things, let them die right there. Do not spread gossip, which is so foolish. Harmony throughout the students is the most needed thing. People who do not understand the presence are not supposed to be able to control themselves like the students should be able to do, but if you move among people spreading discordant stories, do you not see mankind will say, if that is a sample of the I am students, then I do not care to be like them. Precious ones, let me impress upon you today as never before in your lives, that every one of you who says, I am an I am student, must be an example of perfection to all humanity. 
If those who would like to become interested hear you discuss or repeat gossip or some discordant thing, then you have missed your opportunity to spread the light. If you allow yourself to give expression to those things while claiming to be an I am student, you are allowing the sinister force to act and bring in its destruction. Today, I want to make this so clear and plain that no one ever again will yield to such a thing. What is it that wants to repeat and discuss discordant things? Certainly not the presence. Then, it is accumulated discordant qualities, possibly amplified by entities or something of that kind, which urge individuals to enter into such destructive feeling that they cannot accept the light which would be their freedom. It matters not what the cause of it is, so long as you allow discord, criticism, and condemnation to register in your feelings, even before you express it, then you are charging your feeling world with those qualities. Do not do that. You must handle it sometime, somewhere. If you are not strong you will not be able to handle it. Call to the presence with great determination that it may stand guard. It is so easy. Every time someone starts to express something discordant or critical to you, say, now, just wait a minute. In the law of our mighty I am presence we may not give expression to these discordant things. If there is an appearance of discord there, then our part is to call the mighty I am presence into action to govern the situation, person, place, or condition. That is as far as we may be concerned about it. If every one of you will just take this stand, precious ones, your city will be a flood of light. There are always those, beloved ones, who because there are selfish motives within them and because they cannot have their own way, often spread discordant things. Well, that is not of any importance. This concerns your business, your home, your life, your entire activity, beloved ones. It is not just a matter concerning the work of the I am, it concerns your whole life. If you wish to succeed in your business, if you wish to succeed in your musical work, if you wish to succeed in your group work, if you wish to succeed in any activity in which the outer world requires your service, then the foundation of that success is, first, harmony within your own feeling world. Now mark you, if you be the head of a business, if you be the head of an activity, then you have also become the heart center of it. If you know your presence and will call it into action, and every time someone brings something discordant or destructive to you, say, very well, now we will consume that right now, so please do not repeat it again. Do you know that it is only the revolving and repeating of a thing which makes it gain momentum in your life and finally bring disaster upon you? You can see an appearance that is destructive, but you do not have to accept it into your world. It will not register in your world as a rule, unless you begin to revolve it in thought or speech. Dear ones knowing these laws, and to those who might not be familiar with this work, I say to you, beloved ones, study earnestly, without previous opinion. There is nothing in this magnificent work which St. Germain has brought forth that can disagree with anything constructive on the face of the earth. If mankind will calmly and serenely study it without criticism or condemnation, they will receive its truth, but if the great radiance given forth in the books and the instruction is clothed with human concepts, then how can anyone know the truth? I say, there is not one thing in all this understanding of the mighty I am presence which can in any way conflict with any other constructive activity. It is only as the human concept clothes it with opinions and charges it with discord that mankind thinks it contains anything antagonistic. It does not your own God presence, which every human being has sought throughout the centuries, is represented to you in that magnificent chart. It gives your exact position to your own God presence, the only being in place from which perfection can come, or the solution of human problems and conditions. As you have been applying this in your individual life, for America, and for your cities, irrefutable evidence is being brought to you of the power the Divine Director is setting into operation in your cities. He told the messengers he had been waiting for this call, for in some instances they may not even suggest a thing but when you suddenly receive the feeling and from the human octave make the call for a certain activity to take place, then they can release the power, the intelligence, and the energy by which it is accomplished. He caused the angels of blue lightning and the sword of blue flame to sweep through the city of New York every eight hours. The atmosphere of that city was changed completely, as people by the hundreds who know nothing about this work whatsoever are acknowledging today. Beloved ones, as you hold yourselves calm and serene, you cannot help but see the evidence before you ever. 
was changed completely, as people by the hundreds who know nothing about this work whatsoever are acknowledging today. Beloved ones, as you hold yourselves calm and serene, you cannot help but see the evidence before you everywhere. Notice, how every time the beloved messengers have left your city, all kinds of stories run rampant, but when the messengers return, all such foolishness dissolves and fades out. Perhaps you would like to know just how that comes about. In the first place, it is because the messengers are humble and loyal to the light, the presence, and the ascended masters. In the next place, they have become so vividly aware of what has been said to you repeatedly, that when you call the presence into action, it knows no resistance or interference. They have become so aware of it, that when they call the presence into action, they know positively the thing called for is done. Beloved ones, will you please do the same thing? Will you feel the same thing? Your presence is the infinite power of the universe. In its activity it knows no interference. It simply goes into action to produce the results you require in your individual lives or in America. I tell you, the accumulated discord has no power to intrude into the heart of this planet, which is America. It has no power. Therefore, we join you in declaring that the appearance world no longer has any power to spread its discord to agitate mankind. As you continue to call this infinite power into action, it goes forth and governs all such conditions, including individuals. We have seen destructive desires taken out of agitators in an instant, and that has stopped destructive action. How do agitators originate? By two means, first, by the power of revolving any human discussion, second, by discordant entities who have failed on the pathway of light and want to spread only destruction. Beloved ones, incredible as it seems, I tell you that when only the human qualities are acting within the individual, as your beloved Saint Germain has told you repeatedly, the human ungoverned is more vicious than the animal in the jungle. It has proved true throughout the world for centuries. This is why all of the ascended masters plead for harmony in the feelings, and ask all to refuse acceptance to discordant things through conversation or otherwise. It is the only means, beloved ones, by which you can free yourselves and your worlds and give the assistance to America which is required. Remember again what your beloved Saint Germain has recently said to you, the great outpouring of cosmic light, for the first time in the history of the earth, is making it possible to release power under the ascended master's direction to dissolve destructive forces and conditions. This has never before been permitted because of the individual's free will. If you will realize this, you will find entering into your feeling world through your heart, the courage, strength, and power to release through your feeling, these mighty currents of energy from the presence. Thus they go forth and do their work, not only in your individual world, but for others, for America, and for Europe. Since the great divine director asked you to render a certain service to Europe, I wish that you might suddenly see with your own all-seeing eye what has been done through it. Do you not see that when the divine director asks you to render a certain service, it is because he sees that through your effort he will be able to do certain things for the blessing of mankind in general? Remember, he is a mighty cosmic being who has seen fit to come into your groups, into your classes, and render this service for the students individually, that they may release more power from the presence, into action for your cities and nation. Then, beloved ones, is it not the most perfect cooperative activity that has ever been known? Mankind have not known how to do this because they had so completely forgotten their presence. In all the prayers, magnificent as they are, which have been poured forth to God, how fragmentary are those prayers in comparison with these mighty decrees which you are issuing? The difference between a prayer as mankind has understood it, and the issuing of a decree, is that most prayers are supplications, and a decree is the acknowledgement of God the Almighty, I am presence, as the only presence and intelligence acting. You see at once the difference in the power released to produce the results, and the difference in the individual's feeling. This is no condemnation nor criticism of prayer. It has been a wonderful thing, even to have the previous knowledge of prayer, but you see it does not always produce 100% results. In this mighty ascended master law, you know you have entered into the complete deeper understanding and all-powerful application of the law. You have come to know it not only as the law of God, but the law of life, of which you are a definite part. Then you know you have entered into the conquering presence of life. 
It is what all are seeking to be, beloved ones, the conquering presence of life. Does that sound as though life had some imperfection in it? No. But because of mankind's power of qualification, it means that the power of qualification is used only for the constructive activity of life, holy. No longer, by your permission, can your feeling act to requalify this mighty energy discordantly. Remember, beloved ones, who have the understanding of your presence, if you insist on allowing your feelings to become discordant and, through that, requalify this mighty energy as it goes forth from you, then you become still more responsible for the discord of the world. Remember, it is pouring forth every minute through the power of radiation and you cannot stop it. I am just going to touch upon this lightly, because in the call of the students, we have been compelled to witness certain activities. When I see such blessed ones, in a moment when they are off guard, allowing themselves to feel discordant or give expression to the repeating of discordant gossip, which is always untrue, can you imagine the feeling within our hearts? Then, we watch for an opportunity to try through the feeling world to prompt them not to do it again. Beloved ones, we are compelled by the law of your life to keep reminding you of these things, until you no longer allow them to act in your world. There is no use giving forth deeper teaching until individuals utilize what they have, and you have used only a fragmentary part of what is before you. Remember, you are responsible only to your own life, unless you are expressing discord, then you become responsible to all mankind. You are adding to the burden of mankind by whatever discord you express. In the understanding of your mighty I am presence, you cannot do this without penalty, because you have called forth a tremendous charge of energy from your presence into your feeling world. Then, if you continue to allow discord to clothe that energy and send it forth, you become more and more responsible to the great law of life and to your fellow man. The individual who does not understand the presence cannot release the great volume of energy that you can. It is not possible. Therefore, beloved ones, stand guard. Call the presence to stand guard over your world. If vicious things are acting in your feeling world, stop them instantly, I plead with you. Do not have an opinion about another. If there is an appearance which seems to need correction, call to their presence and then forget the incident. It is the only way you can be free. We love you so greatly, and we see the enormous progress which is being made by the great number of students already. We want to give you the encouragement and the strength to stand more firmly on guard, that you may more quickly enter into your glorious freedom permanently. I assure you, beloved ones, the victory is yours, for the mighty I am presence which beats your heart is your certain victory. If you slip occasionally do not be discouraged, but with a firmer determination than ever, say, mighty I am presence. Do not let me do it again. Oh if you only knew, beloved ones, how one earnest call like that would release power into your world which would give you infinite strength and courage to stop even the acceptance of suggestions. I want to call your attention to two things today, so the greatest possible blessing may come to you during the shrine class. A few, dear ones, have thought the only thing necessary was to make a few calls to the mighty I am presence, and they would have their ascension or that if they signed the application to become a member of the 100% groups, it was the only thing necessary for their ascension. Dear hearts, everything in the understanding of the mighty I am presence is an individual activity. The 100% group will give you the most amazing assistance to your ascension, your victory, but it cannot be done unless you purify yourself. Just because you come into the understanding of the I am, do not think that you do not need to make application that you do not have to purify and correct yourself. This must be obvious to one who thinks at all. Therefore, enter in, O, oh, beloved ones, into a determined, powerful application of your presence. Call it forth into action for every detail. O, oh, do not worry nor think that your presence is too great to handle little details. It is the little things, dear ones, just a little thing here and a little thing there, which finally gets to whirling in your feeling and makes a disturbing activity. It is the listening to, I wonder why such a thing got started, I wonder why this got started over here. Such a subtle suggestion is just an opportunity to get your attention on some discordant thing which will finally pull you into it. Do not do it. The messengers found, dear ones, the only means of keeping themselves free from the gossip of human beings was to instantly say, 
You have no power. You cannot enter my world, and it does not do it. Everyone must do the same. You are the only one responsible for your world. Do not feel any concern about the other person's world, except to bless it and praise it. Oh, praise and pour out blessing. What a wonderful thing. Do you know, precious ones, how important it is to bless everyone and give all courage? Take yourselves here today. How many are there in this room who do not appreciate with all their hearts a kindly word? Someone lays his hand on your shoulder and says, I am grateful you are winning your victory. Is there anyone here who would not appreciate such encouragement to its fullest extent? That is what mankind needs. It does not mean, dear hearts, at every little appearance out here, that person has gone wrong. Now do not misunderstand what I am going to say to you. The messengers have always pled with you to turn wholly to your mighty I am presence for everything. We have watched a certain activity is why. I am doing this. If you have some serious problem to handle, be careful how you let others know your need. If the knowledge of your need touches someone who is discordant, you have just that much more to handle. This is the point. Beloved ones, is there anything in the universe more powerful than your presence? Is there? Oh, surely not. Do you think someone in the physical, and I know you do often think it, has more ability to call your presence into action than you have? Well, suppose that were the case temporarily. Do you not see that sooner or later you will come to the place where you will meet the condition when you must stand wholly with your presence, not looking to a single thing outside? The moment you really do that, your troubles will cease, precious ones. I assure you that the moment you can turn wholly to your presence and say, Mighty I am presence, 1 am just looking to you, you cannot fail to have results. Do you realize that century after century after century, mankind has been taught to lean on something other than their own life, which is the mighty I am presence? While individuals were still praying to God, they were looking around outside to see what person could assist, if that assistance were needed. Precious ones, as you keep calling your presence into action, it will choose. Your higher mental body, which is the discriminating, selective intelligence will choose who shall give assistance if it be through human channels. Then no mistakes can be made. You see how easy, how simplified it all is, when once you get this clearly. I am extremely grateful that the mental atmosphere is so clear today, for you are comprehending these things as never before. This today is not due to my presence. It is just here, and I rejoice with you. Each time we come together, you move up, and up, and up, on that mighty, wondrous spiral of light. You are all moving rapidly. Oh, do not be discouraged, any one of you precious ones. Your victory, I tell you, is so much greater today than you yet realize. Will you accept my word for it? Believe me when I tell you the truth, when I say I know it. You are a focus on earth of the light from your mighty I am presence. As you hold yourselves, your feelings, harmonious, and call your presence into action, it does pour out a mighty radiance, like the heat from a great furnace, all the time. Then you must feel its radiance, for you are the most wonderful focus of light in the world. Will you feel your individual responsibility to keep yourselves so harmonious that this light can keep pouring out, pouring out, and everyone who touches it will feel the uplift? This is really your responsibility in your understanding of the presence. You have become a mighty radiating center of light. Therefore, if you allow discord to clothe the light from your presence, are you not responsible for the discord you spread to another? I am trying to make this so definite and clear, that in the intellect you will no longer have the slightest excuse nor have any desire to feel or express discord of any kind, because that is imperfection in your life. We hope, ere long, to show to the students through moving pictures what the power of radiation means, that all may see the difference between discordant radiation, actually operating before them, and the wholly perfect radiation. Once you see that, if there is any fragment left in your being of any desire not to control yourself, it will vanish then. This is the cause of all human limitations. Now that you understand your presence, and are constantly calling forth greater intensity of its energy, remember. Your responsibility is greater, 
and there is no excuse any longer for listening to or expressing discord of any kind. Will you allow me today to give you the complete assistance and victory, that you may be forever free from any such thing? As you leave this room today, no longer has any destructive quality, discord, or irritating quality any power to act in your world. I call on the, mighty I am presence, of each one of you, to cut you free this instant from every vestige of such desires, dissolve, and consume them out of your feeling world forever. Then, mighty I am presence, hold your invincible tube of light about each one of these precious ones, so invincible that never again can a discordant thing act within that tube of light, or within the mind and feeling world of these beloved ones. I can render you this service if you will accept it. We are not limited in any manner whatever. Will you, while I am speaking, issue the silent decree that all the students of the I am receive this same assistance today? You are one in your mental and feeling world, beloved ones. It is the octave in which all the mental activity, all the feeling activity of the individual is one. The mighty I am presence of each one of you is all wise, all powerful intelligence. Therefore, that intelligence is one in quality, individualized. There is one power, one substance of which you are all composed. Knowing this, you must feel the need of your own individual harmony, in order to more quickly allow the great host of light to release their light with sufficient intensity into the earth, so all perfection comes forth into action and is sustained. I thank you, beloved ones. Be a love